I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos. We just finished up this piano. This piano was a, uh, oh man, it was a beast to completely restore. This is an 1887 Steinway. That's right, I said 1887. That is very old and it was in rough condition. I can't remember if we did a before video. I, my wife behind the camera here is shaking her head. We did, okay, so we'll get We'll get that posted. It's you'll see you'll see how in an amazing before photos she says you'll see how dramatic this turnaround was. This piano, if I remember correctly, it was in a garage for thirty plus years, and it was like uh, it was just in a corner, abandoned, neglected, and uh, and it's been massively turned around. We actually coincidentally we just came back from from. Uh, PTG convention in Anaheim and where we went to Bill uh, Scholl's museum where he had lots of pianos that that I think this piano would actually fit in quite nicely with. These are historic instruments. Many of them are from this era. He has them going even back to the 18th century but most of them are 19th century like this one and he, he has a chronology of, of Steinways in particular, he has lots of lots of classics, Chickerings and, and Broadwood even, lots of others, but uh, he has a chronology of Steinways going all the way back to the, from the 1850s up to the up through the 1890s. So so 1887 that would fit right in this in this museum of of sought after and desired and historically significant instruments. All right, let's talk about this one in particular. So 1887, we are 130 plus years old now. But we've, of course, refinished it. We can see the cosmetics. You can see those legs and, and how beautifully refinished everything is. This piano did originally have like velvet behind here which of course we can put that back on if if the person that wants to purchase this piano wants us to I kind of like it without but uh, if you wanted to keep it original we could we could do that I like it because I'm proud of what's on the inside I like to be able to to see what's on the inside of it at all times speaking of which let's have a look at what is on the inside Steinways are a beast to work on. But here we are, beautifully done. The plate is brand new and fresh, freshly painted. It, of course, it's the original plate, but all of the, and all of these hardware pieces, those are all original, but, but they've been redone just for cosmetic reasons, just because it looks great. New hammers, new dampers, all the strings are new, hammer butts are new, bridle straps, damper heads. This piano has been totally overhauled. And then here we have uh, the keys. The, the, uh, the keys were, were ivory originally, but they were so hammered. There was no way those were ever going to be restored. So we replaced them with, with a modern, with modern key top material, which, which is plastic. It, it's a type of plastic, but, uh, but you know, just because I say the word plastic doesn't mean it's, there's a problem with it. It's the same stuff that's used on, on uh, $100,000 pianos. So it's good, dur far far more durable than than ivory ever ever would be. So I guess the only thing left now is to hear it. Close it back up. The sharps, the sharps are original. They're ebony. We just sanded them down, cleaned them up. By the way, this piano is about 50 inches tall or so, 50, 49 maybe.
sounds great. Massive turnaround. <laughs> to uh, something totally unique, something really classy, high-end. Steinway has obviously a, the, a reputation that is second to none, and well, a restored, unique instrument from, from the 19th century. This is a really cool, really cool option that I'm very proud of. Come check it out. The address here is 1497 South State Street in Orem. Thanks for watching.